Okay, this is, I'm Simon, and I, I'm absolutely thrilled. This is a great, a great original list of incredible, incredible acting activities. You want to be able to choose acting activities that you want to do, that you motiv that motivate you to want to be able to get those done. Now, I have a list here. It's approximately 48 or 50 um, on the list, and it might be more by the time we go through it. So um, there is a master, absolute master list of, um, well, it's now over 1,100. 1,100 acting activities. I'm not joking. I really like studying acting. And the reality is I have, um, I've studied over 30,000 um, acting exercises. So it's incredible. This is an incredible tool for you to use to be able to expand your humanity, right? Expand your emotion, get involved, and get do doing the doing. Now, I use tinted colored tints sometimes when I'm reading. A lot of times it depends on, on, on circumstances. Um, and um, the reality is that they help me to read. So I, I have a slight dyslexia, or I wouldn't say slight, but I would say I do have dyslexia. So um, the reality is, um, uh, let, let's look at this. Let's get into it. Okay, we've got um, the first one on the list. We're going to get right into it. Um, making original jewelry or, or, or origami jewelry. Now, origami jewelry is, um, there is an easy to make paper necklace and earring booklet, okay, in that description link. And that you can literally make like really cool, like little uh, keepsakes for yourself or to give as gifts. Many of these you can give as gifts. You can do them with different emotions as you're working on that activity. If the activity takes half an hour, then do one, one emotion. If it takes an hour to complete, then do a couple different emotional preparations. And then you'll expand your talent. All right, number two is create paper bead jewelry. It's a little bit different, but there's a different link. And it, do quilling activity. Quilling is this interesting thing that a lot of people don't know about. They, some people do, but uh, it is an actual art, an, a craft of art. Um, I guess technically it's a craft. It's up to, anyway. So we have, uh, next one is making marbled paint, um, marbled paper paint. Now, this is a kit that's in the description box, and you can literally make this um, with dye drops, um, obviously safe, right? Everything's safe. Um, uh, and it can make this incredible marble texture. So let's say you've got this, uh, this uh, element that's like this incredible uh, uh, vase, right? You've got this incredible vase and you want to marbleize it. And that's your activity. So you can marbleize this entire thing. So it's absolutely marbled. And you can dip it into the water and then you can marbleize it. There's all these techniques and it's, and it's really cool. Next one is... Uh, doing drawing. Now there is um, a 30 minute drawing for a beginner's book and it, there's also in the emotional preparation store which is the actor's activity store which is separate than the links in some cases, a lot of cases. Um, there is this incredible backlit artboard and it can come in different sizes um, and you can literally backlit, you can backlit uh, x-rays, you can backlit uh, architecture, you can backlit your drawings, you can backlit, so you can use it for all sorts of activities, which is fantastic. Just fantastic. There um, are next one links is in that description that you could actually use to improve your acting. You can help, to, it can help you to improve your creativity. So there are, are um, independent activities, there are reasons at the door, there's lists of programs, there's um, a list of emotions, there's programs that you can do, and there's also ways that you can actually contact me for private coaching. So listen, please do yourself a favor and check that out, you know, right down there in the description box. It's painting a watercolor. Uh, 150 skill building projects. So you want to be able to build up your skills of watercolor. Now, I'll tell you, you go into a really upsetting emotional preparation, right? And you've got some of these um, activities like this one, painting a watercolor project. And you literally, if you're still feeling upset from doing your emotional preparation work and doing your acting work, then just simply on your own as a way to debrief your emotions absolutely get to work and do uh, build up your skill building projects of water painting 
And that's a fantastic book for it. Um, uh, so next one is making an outdoor bench or garden furniture. How to make an outdoor, uh, how to make outdoor furniture uh, in the description box. Draw uh, figure, figures or forms. That is a very specific type of drawing. So you could literally draw very specific body shapes and forms and figures and it's a great, it's a great activity. Um, draw faces. There is an incredible, incredible book. That is actually, it is an incredible book on how to be able to draw faces. And it is called uh, How to Draw Faces Step by Step. And it's a great one. That's a good one. Now, the other one, next one is the uh, acting activity, is the uh, make a 3D pop-up card. 3D, you make it a 3D pop-up card. I mean, how cool is that? I mean, that is something that you can definitely easily find motivation to want to be able to do. And many of these things are acting craft skills. Some of these are actually skills that you can actually do for your work in your classes or in your st sound stages or in your studios. And then what you can do is you can literally um, work hard and you can build up your acting resume skills. And many of these will apply. So you can do a lot of things with these. Uh, this is a great one for an acting skill. Um, do a relief carving workshop. There's a workshop uh, on pa and patterns in the description link. The um, next one is carving a, a garden gnome. That's kind of interesting. It's very, uh, uh, it's very interesting. Now, next one is car, uh, cr um, uh, carve a, a top of a crane, uh, of a cane, sorry, of a cane. Um, the, the crane, uh, sorry, the, the, I misspelled it, but um, uh, it is a carve the top of a cane. Now, you can, this is very, 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 it has a lot of sentimental value to be able to go and work with this, with adding a very symbolic uh, component to the top of a cane. It could be, it could be. I mean, you could literally carve or craft your own totem pole. That's a different activity. Um, and it could have a lot of different symbolisms with all the different areas and such with that. So it's excellent. Um, next one is... Carve a wooden head bust. Carving a wooden head bust, wood sculpture course. It's a course in the description link and it is step by step. Making copper wire earrings is the next activity and it is an, another instant download which you can do. You can do golf club. This is a cool one. This is, I've never seen this one in the acting class. Now I've seen over 30,000 acting exercises. Okay, which means I've seen well over, well over uh, 20,000, I'd say, between 15 and 20,000 uh, acting exercise uh, activities. Okay, I'd say at least, at least. And the reality is this is an incredible, incredible thing because you can literally do golf club designing. And it might, you know, maybe it will uh, fail at first, but maybe you'll get better at it. Maybe you can come up with some kind of golf club alteration. That's a great, that's a great one. Um, obviously, I mean, if you're into golf, then it's a little bit more great because then you're motivated to do something unique. And then you can go around on your golf um, uh, tours and all that, and you can go and you can literally uh, be working and using your own golf club, which is, that's, that's a motivated reason to do acting. That is a, a motivated acting activity. Now, this next one is great. This is a good one. Um, you could draw a rose. Oh, that's a great, that's a great one. Because roses, you have to really pay attention and you have to really get the, the drawing right and work with this so that you're doing your craft and working with it. And oh my goodness, that's a good, that's a good activity. All right, next one is stamp design. Oh yeah, on fabric. So. Okay, there is a fabric surface design book, and that is cool. There is also a, um, I don't, it's not, it's not here, but it might be, um, we might find it. Um, uh, but I know for a fact that there is also a link to the, um, you, it's a stamp set. You can actually make like one of like eight or 15 different uh, stamps, and you can actually carve out your own stamp. That's great. That's a great, 
great acting activity, but obviously put meaning behind it, put feeling behind it, put um, emotion behind it, do your emotional preparation, put all the components to the word, make it difficult, all that stuff. And even add more stuff to it if you can. You know, really make this work for you. Craft it. You're the artist. Uh, you know, brave artists become actors. Huh, believe me, that's the truth. All right. Um, look, do calligraphy. Drawing is the next one. You can absolutely do calligraphy drawing. Oh, this is the next. The next one, it, uh, it is a calligraphy drawing how-to guide. Okay. Now, um, making your own kilt. How many of you have actually even thought to make your own kilt? You can. You can make your own kilt, and there is an art of kilt making um, instruction step by step um, in that description box, which is absolutely cool. Um, listen, we are sharing love all over the planet. Of course, we're trying to be very patient with uh, uh, life. And the reality uh, we have here is we have another one that is create Ukrainian Easter eggs. So there is a different style of Easter eggs that you can do, and it is a DIY um, uh, Ukrainian Easter cake. How to make them is you can totally figure out how to be able to do that with that description link. And if you would keep using those description links, it doesn't cost you any extra. It just it helps to make sure everything quick keeps working, and um, that would be great. Now there is uh, another one that is clever. This is clever. You can design your own wallpaper. Right? This is cool. As it is very cool. Now, you can also design your own gift wrap. Now, if you want to make any kind of gift special for somebody, you design your own gift wrap. That is an excellent, excellent, unique, original uh, acting activity. Now, that is absolutely key. That is incredible activity. Um, Okay, now again, use activities that calm you down to be able to, to, to you're, you're looking to be able to channel out your, your channel out, not your, you don't want to come out with your emotions with a whole bunch of neurosa. You want to be able to have your emotions come out in channel. So you're channeling your work so your emotions can go into your doing. And you can use that as motivation. That's why I say motivation is key. Is motivation is key in acting, and motivation is key in independent activities, and also Meisner activities, and all these acting activities, all of these things, there's different names for all of them. And absolutely work with these things, very key. Now, you do a cold wax painting. Now that is, this is an interesting one. Did you know, and I know this, but I know that you might not know, so I'm gonna tell you about it, it's a bit of a secret. It is a cold wax painting. You can have and do this thing that's called a cold wax painting. I don't know. I mean, it's cool. You sometimes use your fingers. Sometimes you use tools. You can do all kinds of things. You can put all kinds of colors on it. You can make something that's very unique. And you can make something that you'd actually want to be able to put up on your own wall, which is great. Really great, you know? So uh, get your colored tint glasses at the uh, emotional preparation shop which is the one that's uh, on emotional preparation. All kinds of great, great. There's some that are just tinted and there's some that are polarized, which is great, really cool. And they do help, they color. You can read longer, you can read your scripts longer when you're actually using colored tint. All right, so building your own drone. Now there is an incredible, well, it, I haven't read this book yet, I'll tell you. This one I have not read, um, but I will say that uh, it looks really cool, and um, I'm doing a lot of things, and it is be better for you if I just continue to keep working and do things as I can. So, building a drone, you can build your own drone. I'm telling you, it's possible, and you can do that as an acting activity, which is great. Now, make your own handbag, handbag workshop. Uh, design and sew your absolute perfect bag. Now, there is these incredible bags that, they, that, that there are in, 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 that, in that link. And you can make uh, uh, ma uh, bags, uh, handbags with metallic ink. Or, I mean, metallic, you can, you can, you can uh, emboise them. Uh, you can use uh, metallic fabric. You can use certain silks. It's great. Really good. All right, now, uh, next one is creating a garden mosaic.
There is 19 projects in that description link, and it is a garden mosaic. And, um, you know, uh, like the old saying goes, you're pacing the pieces back together, right? Ne life is never going to be the same, is the old saying. But you can still piece the, the, the pieces back together. Maybe life will be greater. You never know. So, um, uh, and there is a Mosaic Bible of Techniques also in that description box link. And th th that's a great one. Now, this next one is kind of cool. Um, for some people, we'll get more excited about this than not. I, I think that uh, it's, it's interesting. It's carving your own um, uh, Noah's, you can paint your own Noah's Ark. Um, all your different sets. Now, it, you can literally, it, it is um, uh, carving, you can carve and paint your own, uh, there's pull out patterns that you can make all the different animals of, of whatever, uh, which is great, really good. Now, actually, I don't know, I think this one's better, but who knows, who knows which one's better. There is a, in the description, there is really, I mean, there is, it's, it's a make Da Vinci's flying machines. I'm not joking. This is actually in the description box. All you gotta do is click it. And please use this video often to use that link, right? And work with that link on the emotional preparation. There's an entire list of all kinds of them. And I, I anyway, it's great. So um, you wanna work with Leonardo da Vinci easy to follow kit. And you can literally assemble your own flying machines. I, I didn't make it up. It's real. It's a real thing. And it is an excellent, excellent acting activity. Um, now, you can also make natural ink. And there is a link in the description box that is an instant download that is a natural ink making, which is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Um, the next one is designing your own felt hat pattern. Ah, that's kind of cool. That is an absolutely cool. Um, you know, it is very, very cool. Very, 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 very cool. Um, in its own way. Now, but you obviously you want to put, um, maybe you can give yourself a backstory. That would be excellent. And it would be one where you fall in love with somebody that's uh, blind. I don't know. You didn't think it would work, but you, all of a sudden, and, and, that's something that's a, a thing, and you want to be able to show them how much you care about the fact that they're blind. And, and you go and do your acting activity. And your acting activity just happens to be um, des, uh, designing the felt hat pattern, uh, right, uh, with, with, the, with the template. That's, that's very sentimental. It's original. It's great. Really good. So that's a great acting activity. Uh, really good. Yeah, I mean, really good. Now, you could uh, also do whittling a sea captain. Now, you don't want to, you want to be safe, so you probably don't want to do that, um, you know, uh, blindfolded or anything. That's another activity you can actually do, which you can do blindfolded activities, which I said that we were going to add some when we were working, which we always do because life's interesting. So that's a whittling step-by-step, -step, um, an old sea captain. Next one is draw um, geometric solids. Now, I don't know if you know this or not, but um, geometric solids is actually a whole thing. It's, it's an incredible, incredible study. And um, how you can draw um, what's called polyhedrals. And you can draw polyhedrals, and it, it takes quite a little bit of, of study because you've got to be accurate. And that is another great thing. Um, now, the other one is similar to the other one, but it's different. It is how to make a pop-up book. Now, if you've never made a pop-up book, try it. It's a great, it's a good activity. It's a good activity. Um, acting activities are incredible. And you can add these to scenes. You can do all sorts of different things with these kinds of activity. A acting activities are the open door where the actor gets to put in their concentration and get their own steam engines running. Right? And then they get their own emotional steam engines running, and then all of a sudden they get to get that concentration. And then what actually happens is that if you've got somebody that shows up in your scene or they knock, they knock unexpectedly, you're gonna feel that surprise in you of that unexpected knock. 
which is, <laughs> that is exactly, exactly what you want to achieve in your work. You want to feel the ability to have that slight unexpected. Now, you don't want to, you know, have too much of a, of a, of a you don't want to be too, too much unexpected, but you want to have that surprise of unexpectedness. You know, you don't want to scare people, but you want to, you want to be able to, to absolutely have that concentration of focus. So when the knock happens, you have a response to it. That's the key. You're the response. Okay. Now, um, carving leather. There is a how to carve leather book and get it. It's an instant download. Designing a stained glass pattern. There is a stained glass pattern book and it is, it, it, it's great. So it looks good. It looks good. And um, make a origami box. Now, this is different than making an origami, um, be it jewelry or origami um, a paper jewelry or origami shape or origami towel. Um, an origami box is literally, literally, you are making a box that is the origami. So it is a shape that you don't even know has an opening, possibly, depends on, on the organic pattern, right? All right, now, there is a thing that many people do not know about called um, gouache, G-O-U-A-C-H-E. Uh, G -O -U -A -C -H -E. And it is a specific, specific activity. And you can get up and gouache book. And you can get that in the link. Uh, interesting. Okay, we are wrapping this up. We are going through these. Great. And um, we. the next one is etching glass. You want to etch glass, do the complete instructions. Uh, are actually in, uh, I think it's an instant download. Um, if not, it's worth the wait. Get the book. And, and uh, that etching glass is an incredible, incredible thing. You can do all sorts of things with etching glass. Now you can etch all sorts of things, but etching is is a, is a is an interesting tool. It's a school. It's a skill to be able to etch. Um, it's an artistic. It's an artistic talent. Um, now hand making tile. There is an instant download that is in the description box that is called the art of hand making tile. Now that's cool. It's cool to be able to hand make your own tile is I would say that that's an element that you want to put on your resume. You have no idea. Maybe somebody's going to make a movie about handwritten tile or handmaking tile, right? And, and if not, it's a great idea. If you want to contact me, I'll help you with it. But the reality is the, the absolute key is, is you work with these original ideas and you, you have that as an acting resume skill, handmaking tile. And then all of a sudden, maybe that's the thing that gets you the, the part. Maybe that's something that you can do. Uh, beyond all of the, the, the differences in, in the industry, that would be the way to do it. Um, now, there is a, a cool one here. Next, there's two more. There, there is making your own kite, okay? And it is an easy to make decorative kite, all right? Now, look, it might look a little simplistic, but if you add you could add vinyl layers to it. You could do all sorts of things if you get creative. You could get creative by that. Now, the other one and the last one here is an actual very difficult activity, and it is how to make your own corset. You're making your own corset. Very, very interesting. It's, it's uh, uh, difficult to make some of them. They're very difficult. You're probably going to have to take uh, I would say one to two hours to learn how to make the corset. Um, but um, it's worth it because you can practice your acting while you're doing your activities. And, and that's absolutely key. Now, if you're going to do this thing with your acting, you can use the long emotional preparations list, the emotions list. It, the emotions list has over 950 um, emotions on it. And you can go in, activate one emotion, and then start making your corset, right? And build your corset. Work like that for 20 minutes, 25 minutes. See if you can lose track of time, which is the key. When you're doing absolutely great acting activities, when can you lose track of time? If you can lose track of time, 
When you're involved in the doing, then you're doing something right. Right? And this is absolutely key in acting. I mean, almost everything, but you want to find a job that you like to do. You want to be able to do something where you can lose track of time so you don't get bored. Uh, and the same thing is with acting. You want to be able to lose track of time in your acting and be invested, really invested in the doing. And then you're adding the be inside of the work, which is the emotion. So you put the be inside of the work together with the doing inside of the work activities. And then you're able to then interact with your acting partner or with your scene partner or with the other actor. And that this is absolutely the absolute key of being able to how to do this. This is absolutely essential. So um, thank you for watching this. Boop the like button if you would. Boop that like button. Boop it. And um, let's, let's share this with your friends. Uh, let me know what one you, is your favorite, if you would. And then I can start to readjust them if I want, but, but maybe I'll leave them the way they are for now. And, um, but I can then start to at least share some of the most favorites, share them with your friends. Feel free to share those links with your friends. And what can then happen is that um, those were, um, they're called, um, they, I don't know, they, they figure this thing out and, and you can go directly to the product, it doesn't cost you anything extra. And then what happens is uh, you can get the product and it's very easy. So um, absolutely, uh, thank you very much. And um, what else do I need to say? Is there is also an independent activities list and the independent activities list, there's also a Meisner activities list. Now I've separated them out. Um, there, you can call them that, you can call them uh, acting activities. You can do whatever you wanna to do to be able to make sure this is the key. Different schools of thought call things different ways. And the reality is, is you are putting the doing into your acting. The point is to be able to put the doing into your acting. So you do that with an acting activity. So this is absolutely essential. Listen, thanks very much, and until the next one. Okay, so I teach people how to get upset. I have a lot of fun teaching people how to literally, purposefully upset themselves, actually waking their own activations up so that they're emotionally activated. There's something that they can get upset about within a ballpark of emotion. But the key, the absolute key, is I don't want you to carry around that stuff in your life. That's what's called acting baggage. You want to be able to learn a technique. I have to be able to tell you that it's, it would be a disservice for me to teach you all of these incredible techniques on how to access yourself as an artist without reminding you very nicely that you don't need your acting baggage in life. So feel free, work on processes where you have a release time after you're doing your acting. And what this will do is it will actually amplify your work because it will give your acting muscles the break that they need in order to get the rest that they need so that your work will be even stronger. Okay, thanks very much.